Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Today I wanted to talk about teaching your horse to pee off in hand. Pee off is a Grand Prix movement and it basically is when the horse is trotting in place. It takes a really long time to teach. It is the ultimate of all collection. It's the, the highest, uh, most difficult movement that you can teach and uh, it takes many, many years. But it's never too early to start teaching your horse the basics. This is Allie. She is a four-year-old Arabian mare that I have in training. She knows nothing about Piaf. We haven't started anything. But she has basic ground manners and respect, so I thought that she would be a good one to start with. So what I'm gonna do today, I have, um, I have this long whip it's a carriage whip so it's um, pretty stiff a little bit floppy on the end this is the one that I like the most but uh, you want to use a long whip what I want to do today is touch all four of Allie's legs and ask her to respond by um, lifting or moving that particular leg it's okay if Allie strikes out at the whip as a response it would even be okay if Allie bucked or kicked as a response to the whip for now, not forever, but for now. So what I'm gonna do is ask Allie to respond to the touch of my whip. I'm gonna use my whip lightly and frequently, and I'm not gonna stop until she responds. If she doesn't respond within a few seconds of me tapping her leg with the whip lightly and frequently, then I'm going to increase my pressure to, let's call it medium. If she still doesn't respond, then I'll increase my pressure to high. But let's give it a go and see how she does. So Allie got a little bit nervous. We've never done this before. Allie chose to uh, move forward as her response and that's perfectly okay. But what I'm trying to achieve here is some kind of response to this pressure that I'm applying. So it's definitely okay with what she did. I'm going to try it again and see if she will be a little less, a little more relaxed and she will um, know what I'm talking about a little sooner. So here we go. Perfect. All right. So Allie was a little bit more relaxed. She uh, started to move forward um, right away and I just stopped her with this rope halter and uh, asked her to stand still. And then uh, she figured it out because I, I didn't decrease my tapping of the whip. She figured it out and she just lifted her leg. So that was a perfect response. I want the horse to be um, responsive to this whip, but not afraid. So I'll occasionally rub the horse all over and you can see that she's just a little bit sensitive, maybe a little bit insecure to the whip. So I rub the horse all over to make sure that they know that they're not in trouble, that this isn't some kind of beaten stick. <laughs> so I make sure that the horse feels comfortable with this tool. This is what this is, is a tool. So now I'm gonna try the hind leg. I'm gonna start by my frequent and repetitive um, gentle tapping and see what kind, what Allie does. So that was really great. Allie seemed a bit more relaxed. It did take her, you know, a few seconds to respond, but all Allie did was move her leg forward and then set it back down. I'm really glad actually that she didn't kick out because that can uh, lead to her thinking that uh, she's in trouble, that can lead to more drama in this situation. And I really don't want Allie to be nervous. I want her to think of this as um, just a, an exercise, nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna try that same leg again and see how it goes. Maybe I'll get a quicker response, maybe not. I probably will, but let's see how it goes. Perfect. 
So that time, Allie lifted her leg up a little higher. She kind of brought her leg back a little bit, but she didn't seem frustrated. She didn't um, seem really annoyed. She just responded to the tapping of my whip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around to all four legs and um, ask her to respond to my gentle tapping. If I don't get a response to the gentle tapping, again, you can increase your pressure to medium and then increase your pressure to high after a few seconds of, of trying. But this is really great. This is Allie's very, very first time of ever doing this and I'm super happy with her response. A lot of horses, uh, or some horses, will be uh, more dramatic about this. They might try and go past me, which I don't want. Um, they might um, kick out, like I said, which is okay, but not ideal. Um, so another uh, important part, what I just touched on there is um, that I don't want Allie to go past me. So again, I have this rope halter. Um, there's really not any sense in having a bridle right now. You can use a bridle if you want, but I like the rope halter just so that she knows that um, I don't want her to go past me and uh, so that she's not worried about the bit or anything. So all I'm gonna do in teaching this course about the peon is go around and, and tap each leg, looking for a response, acclimating her to this tool so that she's not afraid of it, and encouraging her to not go past me. So that's step one, let's move on to step two.